Hey guys, this year OpenAI has something like an advent calendar. 12 days of shipping stuff. And they shipped first thing today, or maybe yesterday, depends on where you are. And here I want to give you some first quick impressions and opinions on what they shipped first. And the thing they shipped is a new O1 model. Uh, they already shipped before O1, O1 Preview and O1 Mini, but now they released the full version. What's new is that it's their smartest model, according to them. It's also fastest model, and it also has vision now, because before O1 and O1 Mini couldn't use tools and couldn't analyze images, couldn't generate images, internet search, they could do nothing except for chatting. Now, this new model, O1, can accept images and work with images. And I did my tests, and I'm not sure about it being smart. We will see. I have some examples later. But uh, yeah, I did run some of my tests that I will show. But uh, you don't. maybe you don't trust me. Here is the YouTuber I really like and recommend, AI Explained. He has, I think, the best videos on like overview of how the industry is doing. And he did his own tests as well. And if you listen to him, he's probably even more skeptical than me. Because I do think that O1 model is good. It's better than it was. But is this a good tool for the job? I think for many reasons, no. And uh, it's even funnier uh, that the second thing that they announced is prom mode, which is 200 bucks a month. Yes, you heard me right. It's 200 bucks a month. But for it, you get unlimited access to all of their models, including advanced voice. In plus, they are all limited. So is it for you? Uh, is it worth it? Uh, I will get to it a little bit later after I show you some demos. Uh, let's take a look at what I want to show you. So uh, here is the thing I've like tested before when O1 came out. It's an idea from a guy, Rob Brown, from one of the community I'm in. And he proposed to like, can you find a model that can solve this if you give it this image? And it's an interesting puzzle that if you take a good look at it is easy. It's a school level geometry. And I like I, I solved it in my own way. And uh, I got eight. So answer correct answer here is eight. Uh, and Rob has his solution somewhere. He also got eight. And he explains it like this. Uh, so it's easy to solve if you bring it to 2D because it's in 3D with shadows. Uh, we have a green bar that is two meters tall, and it has a shadow that is three meters long. And then there is a red bar that we don't know how high it is, which has six meters shadow here and four more meters shadow here. And the way I was solving it was that, hey, this one, if it was on the floor, would be twice longer than this. So it's four meters, two meters, there are six meters here. Then this means that whole shadow is 16 meters, which is four times more than than this, which means this is four times more than this, which is eight. Well, the way uh, Rob saw it is a little bit different. But anyways, it's eight. Now, uh, I did test, we did test it on a one or one mini and Claude before, and none of them understood the problem. And in my tests, the real reason was that they don't understand the problem. Let me see, this is O1, this is also, this is GPT-4. So GPT-4's answer is four meters. And largely, if you read the texts, uh, it's usually because they don't understand the problem. They think that this is one more, uh, like this is red bar, this is green bar, and this is not a shadow. This is black bar that is four meters tall. Uh, they don't understand that this is a shadow. None of the models, Claude or O1 or whatever, none of the models understand this problem like at all. Even if you hint that it's a shadow. Uh, yeah. And due to that, it just says that red bar is four meters tall, which is wrong. And O1 does the same thing. We can see that it thought for something like two minutes, said that the height of the red bar is four meters. But 
So yes, it's a expensive model, their best smartest model, gives the same wrong answer as GPT-40. And if you watch AI Explained video, he cites more examples like this. There are cases where models that are smaller, cheaper, faster, sometimes are correct, and it is wrong even, not even that the same. And there are many cases where it gives wrong answer like the other models, or correct, correct answer like the other models. So it is better, but marginally. In many cases, you would not notice. This is what I wanted to show, that these models end. Uh, in, in here, I did... Like if we could, if you could actually describe the problem correctly, O1 preview before solve the problem. So the problem and bottleneck usually is the uh, how they visual understand things. And uh, I decided to do another experiment. I decided to give uh, the O1 model uh, another task. I asked it, can you please generate a 3D scene? out of this picture in HTML, CSS, and JS, in JavaScript. And it tries to describe it. And we can say that uh, on the left walls, it's a tall red rectangle bar stranding vertically on the floor, just away from the corner. A long black rectangular beam is laid from the base near the red bar, slanting up to the right wall, creating a diagonal support. <laughs> diagonal support. <laughs> On the diagonal B, a smaller green rectangular bar stands upright on its midpoint. The right wall is behind the scene and the floor extends beneath the object. Anyways, you, we can already see that it does it wrong. And then it writes code. And for me, code didn't work. Uh, it was throwing errors because of importing 3D rendering library called 3JS. And I was asking, can you fix it? And it could not fix it. So I needed to fix it by hand. They claim it's the best model, their like best coding model. Uh, after fixing by hand, I get this. So this is conversion from image to the 3D model. Does it look like this or is it different? So this is kind of like how smart this model kind of is. So they claimed that they've added image support. Be careful of what kind of images you give it. They misunderstand the images. So you can give it a complex task as an image. It will misrepresent something. And if you were not careful, you may not notice that you got a wrong answer. That's my feeling from it so far. And I also wanted to show you something about coding to compare. So O1 is their best coding model. And here is the same image with the same prompt converted to 3D. Uh, done by WebSim with Sonnet 35. And this is the result we got there. It's also wrong, as you can see, uh, but it worked from one prompt, 3JS did work. And honestly, I probably like it more. So is O1 better at coding than Sonnet? I'm not sure. And this is also something that uh, AI Explained says, that probably it isn't that in, for most cases, Sonnet 3.5 will do as good as a job as O1. He even shares that there are cases where O1 Mini or O1 Preview or even GPT-4 can do better job than O1. O1 is a specialist model, so only specialists in special fields can benefit from it. And uh, yeah, I did also another interesting example and test. If you watched my previous video on O1 and Claude comparison, I was trying to ask them to make a game, a 3D uh, game, like let's uh, refresh something not working. A game like this, it's like a parking game in 3D in physics with JavaScript. And back then, none of the models could really do it from the first try. I think my first example looked like this. This is result of O1 preview. This time I decided to do something funnier. I gave O1 a picture of the game and asked to recreate it. I have stumbled on the same problem uh, where 3GS was not working. I think I was like asking it to fix it. Where is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was getting errors, similar ones. I don't know why ChatGPT has trouble with 3GS. Like it imports it in some kind of way that breaks it. Uh, but this is what I got. This was interesting. This was my first 
trying. And it does work. Oh, whoa. It doesn't even leave, it even does leave a trail. It works. There is no collisions yet. But otherwise, like, it's not that. Not what I iterated on from the image. But it's kind of interesting it can do that from the image. Again, for comparison, here is Sonnet 35 in uh, WebSim, which, to which I also gave the same picture and same prompt. And we can check here at the top. Recreate this game as JS, CSS, HTML. Here is the image. Here is the image. And I got this. Worse. So O1 did a little bit better. And this is my experience so far. O1 is marginally better than Preview or Sonnet, while it's more, it's faster as well now. But uh, is it really super smarter in such, I wouldn't say ordinary, but in such cases, it doesn't seem like it is. It's maybe a little bit better. So this is what I, my experience so far with the model. And now we can return to this, to promote for 200 bucks. Is it worth it? In my view, for most people, it does not. And I can share my own experience. O1 Preview and O1 Mini are already good models. Pretty limited in usual class. Do I use them? I use them not much. Why? Because those models are can only talk. Okay, now O1 can also accept images, but as we saw, not that it helps it much. Uh, while I do use GPT-40 a lot. Why? Because of tools. Uh, it can use internet, it can use code interpreter, it can use APIs through custom GPTs, it can do work, it can use tools. O1 can't, it cannot use tools yet. Without it, I'm not using it much. I consult it sometimes on complex questions. Most of work I do requires using tools, which means I need to copy paste and it's like it's slow. This is not worth my time. So I'm not using it much. Same is true for advanced voice. Advanced voice also cannot use tools. So usually if you want to search internet, you will end up using old voice. So then the question then is, what is the value for me in paying 200 bucks for unlimited access? For now, not enough. I am not using my quota in plus. But the moment the tools are there, the picture could change, uh, which means that at this point, it could potentially boost my work enough to warrant 200 bucks a month. This price makes sense if it's a tool for work. And there are a lot of people who buy expensive tools for work, like computers. So if this is a tool that boosts your work, it may make sense. For now, without the tool usage and GPT for those models and advanced voice, they are not themselves good enough tool for my jobs. Maybe, but there, I think there are niches in which people will succeed from using this model in a way that boosts them, and then maybe they should. So unless you're already keeping limits on the models in plus, don't buy pro. Even though it has also promo that apparently is better. But again, watch this video that I mentioned before, which he shows that pro is also kind of nuanced model. It sometimes performs worse, not better. And sometimes performs better in niches. It's a niche tool that does cost 200 bucks, but for most people it's not needed. This is my takeaway from this. Uh, it's uh, yeah, quick first impression and quick first test. I hope it was valuable. Let's see what another 11 days of OpenAI will bring. And yeah, if you liked it, maybe you have opinions or comments, leave comments, like, subscribe. Thank you and see you soon.